Insider channel. I am the Crypto Insider, back with another cryptocurrency video for you today. Uh, we're going to talk about HBAR a little bit because that's where the big action was. Um, and we've got a story about the uh, Yes Bank in India is apparently having a run. Um, so that's, you know, kind of scary. And it, I, I saw some uh, tweets on it. And I just wanted to look at the article, and so the, so we'll just cover it here. Uh, what else is going on? Uh, I had a uh, stupid guy commenting on my videos yesterday, uh, but I'm really not going to talk about uh, him today. I think we'll save him. Maybe I'll do a segment on uh, Saturdays or Sundays called Internet Tough Guys or something like that, where we we talk about our hate mail or <laughs> hate comments. Uh, I think it could be pretty humorous anyway. Uh, in any case, uh, let's see. We don't sell anything. We don't sell placemats or jewelry or anything like that promoting the channel. I did make a Patreon. I don't know if you saw my post. I do have a Patreon, but it's more of a placeholder. Uh, do not sign up for my Patreon. There's no content out there, and I'm not planning to put anything out there. Uh, it's just hanging out there so that the name is saved in case I want to at some point. Because I am always fighting with YouTube over dumb stuff. Namely, some of their algorithms don't make a lot of sense. Uh, but that's, you know, that's my uh, cross to bear. <laughs> so, so I don't know. Uh, it seems to be, yeah, I mean, it's a good platform when it works. Uh, but they, I, in my opinion, they do a lot of things wrong. Um, and we do donate to charity for each new subscriber to the, uh, channel. We had, I think, 11 yesterday, so, you know, a pretty nice amount, uh, and we donated 6XRP to at GoodXRP, that's what you're seeing on the screen in front of you. They break it down and send it off to all those great places, uh... And they all have different charity missions, but they're all good ones, and uh, we we support their missions every day, or every video anyways, we do a donation. There's actually not a video every day, but mostly every day I have a video. Um, let's get into live cryptocurrency uh, prices from Live Coin Watch. We'll just look at it a little bit. Uh, take a look at our Bitcoin dominance. Appears to have dropped a little bit since yesterday. Nothing uh, major, though. Nothing really noteworthy. We're at 64.07% with the uh, Bitcoin dominance. Price has pulled back a little bit on Bitcoin. I think we did break that 9100 mark. We're now sitting at 9044. Um, so, yeah. And uh, uh, we are up. 1.95% on Ethereum over the last 24 hours, but everything has started to pull back a little bit in the last hour, it looks like. Uh, really, the uh, the big winner on the 24 that we want to talk about today is HBAR. HBAR is something that, you know, yeah, I sent out a tweet saying that I've been talking about HBAR for a few weeks. That's actually not correct. I've been talking about HBAR for a few months. <laughs> um, so uh, our, our big winner of the day is HBAR at 29%. So I hope uh, everybody that's been listening, you know, even though I'm not an investment advisor or a certified financial planner or a tax accountant, I hope that everybody that listens to the channel regularly has at least uh, put a little bit of time into learning about HBAR and uh, considering it for their portfolio uh, in accordance with their, you know, their investment goals and their financial people that are certified to give advice. But in any case, uh, a, a nice gain will take a 30% gain. You know, it's one of those things that I'll be saying, oh, I wish I'd bought more of like uh, Chainlink and Tezos. But like I was saying yesterday, there's only so much uh, free cash to go around uh, to put into, uh, into uh, 
uh, crypto. So, yeah, uh, and if we look at the long term, up th from 30 days, 202% uh, returns, 7 days, 50%, 24 hours, 28%, according to our Coinalyze page. So, you know, a uh, thousand bucks in H bar uh, 30 days ago would uh, uh, have netted you a nice little uh, return by now. So, Definitely one to keep your eye on. I think it's going to go higher than five cents. I don't know how high. Uh, I'd like to see some more uh, analysis on it. And I think as H bar gets more popular and more known, uh, it, it it people will start doing the TA for it more so. I've seen DIY investing touch on it and do a, a pretty fast TA on it, but I've not seen anybody really dive into it i don't i don't really have a lot of time to to search it out but we were at uh h bar was at 41 yesterday when we did our video uh for the market cap and now they're at 39 so uh, uh creeping up like i was saying yesterday they sort of you know when you're when you're not really keeping your eye on them <laughs> they move up a little bit and it looks like they might be poised to overtake uh true usd uh but it's it's pretty interesting uh uh h bar has been a pretty meteoric coin rising up the ranks of the market list and they just uh i think they just had someone else sign on to their governance board uh I'd have to check on that. I don't want to say it if it's not true, but another another huge company in addition to the huge companies that are already there. Um, shares in India's Yes Bank plunge over 70% on withdrawal limits. And I wanted to cover this story for a particular reason, and I'll tell you what that is as we get into it. Shares in India's fourth largest private lender, Yes Bank, plunged more than 70% on Friday after the central bank seized control and imposed withdrawal limits. Queues formed outside Yes Bank branches at, after the announcement late Thursday that customers can only withdraw 50,000 rupees, $678 over the next 30 days. India has been grappling with a liquidity crunch caused by the near collapse more than a year ago of IL and FS, one of the nation's biggest shadow banks, finance, ho finance houses responsible for significant consumer lending. Yes Bank has been particularly badly hit as it struggles under a mountain of bad loans. Uh, its weakened position was largely due to inability of the bank to raise capital to address potential loan losses and resultant downgrades, the Reserve Bank of India said Thursday. Um, yes Bank is a Ripple partner, so th that's why I wanted to cover this, and it goes into a little bit about the comments I was talking to from some, or responding to from the troll yesterday. Um... <laughs> The, there are a lot, and when I read the tweets I see in crypto Twitter on this, because Yes Bank is a Ripple partner, the people that that haven't been in the fintech space, uh, and I, I don't mean to necessarily put anyone down, but they tend to think that cross-border payments are the only things that matter in banking, you know, because they've been looking at Ripple so so long in the ODL solution, and they've they've read so many articles, they think that's the biggest biggest thing in banking and that's all you need if you have good cross-border payments um you know that's the only thing that exists in banking that's the only possible reason there could be to have a bank is to do cross-border payments and that's not true and so when i say um something like uh ripple isn't a competitor to a to a larger banking conglomerate like um like, uh, who was I talking about? Fiserv or FIS Global? Both of them. When I say that Ripple isn't a competitor to me, to, to them, I don't mean in the sense that Ripple can't compete with them because they're so big. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is if we had a banking charter and we wanted to open a bank and do everything that goes along with banking from the, you know, when you open your bank account online and you go in and view your statement or you call the number to get your balance, there are about 
15, 20, maybe as much as 50 different companies involved in, in this. You know, just just API calls out to different databases and uh, different people that house information. There's uh, OFAC screening. There's uh, anti-money laundering. There's fraud finding when you make a deposit. There's remote deposit people that make the software to catch. It's not all the same bank uh, has people doing all that. They, they don't have developers for each piece of this. They contract all that stuff out that people like and all those features of the account. And Ripple doesn't do that. That's not Ripple's wheelhouse. So when I say they're not a competitor, I don't mean that they can't compete. I mean, they're not a competitor like, um, you know... ExxonMobil is not a competitor to your local organic produce market that meets on Saturday. They're just two different worlds. You know, Ripple is a niche market in, uh, in banking and, and serves a very valuable purpose and has very good uh, technology that I think a lot of people, including um, Fiserv and FIS, are taking notice of uh, and have to take notice of, or they will lose that tiny portion of their uh, of their income. But you know, these big conglomerates they do loans, they do account originations, they do compliance, they do uh, bill pay, they do checking, they do uh, mortgages, they they do insurance, uh, they have brokerages for stocks. I mean, they that's just, I mean, they're just not the same type of company that that Ripple is. And that's why they don't compete. And sometimes Ripple will even go to them and they'll work together, you know, which is strange, uh, you, you know, which may blow your mind a little further. The, 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 when, they, when I say that they're not competitors, meaning sometimes they're customers of each other. It just depends on the situation and what problem they're trying to solve. Um, so... Uh, uh, you know, when you see it, it, what I'm trying to say, I guess, in to totality here is when you see that Yes Bank is having a run and things are looking bad for it, that has nothing to do with Ripple. Uh, n at no point in the story is the word Ripple mentioned even. Uh, they got into trouble probably based off some bad business decision and they have bad debts and, sh and they're struggling to raise capital uh, to address loan losses. No amount of business with Ripple is going to save them from that just because they're a Ripple partner, uh, you know. Do, doesn't really mean anything to this story. It's just one portion of what they, they've they done. They've made so many bad decisions that, you know, uh, lowering some fees and, and becoming more efficient on cross-border payments uh, may not be enough to save them. Probably is not ever going to be enough to save them. Because Yes Bank does other things, largely with loans, uh, where they've gotten themselves in trouble, and it's not Ripple's job or responsibility to pull them out of whatever position they got themselves in for whatever reason. It's two different things. But a lot of crypto Twitter doesn't see that. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Because I, I, it's just uh, what, what you would call in motorcycling is target fixation. You know, uh, there's this uh, adage in, in motorcycling that if you, and probably in driving too, uh, if you fixate on something on the side of the road, you're going to run into it, you know. And so that's why you're supposed to constantly scan so you don't, but in in crypto Twitter in the crypto sphere, there is a lot of target fixation where people are looking at cross-border payments um, and, and what Ripple does that they don't see all the other things that these large financial institutions do. And just because, you know, you're in a partnership with Ripple or any other crypto found Tezos or whatever, it doesn't mean it's going to be, it, you know, it could be too little too late to save these financial institutions from whatever history of bad decisions they've they've made. I hope that was clear. <laughs> Sometimes I, uh, I, I don't know. So, you know, I, I bloviate and I ramble and I, I understand that. So um, if you don't like it, there are people that do like newscast crypto type things and they're pretty good. You can you can uh, they have channels all over the uh, YouTubes. 
Uh, this next article is fxstreet.com by John Asigi. We cover him quite a bit. Ripple price weekly forecast. XRP USD stirs a turnaround to 30 cents, which we haven't seen. I haven't seen this 30 cents that he's talking about. Maybe he's saying that we're on track to to hit 30 cents, but we did break that, uh, I guess, psychologically relevant 24 cent mark. Um, so it says uh, the pair is uh, currently trading at 24.24 has recovered significantly from a devastating dive to 22.50 in tandem with the Bitcoin price surge above 9,100. The market is relatively bullish on Friday ahead of the weekend session. Uh, Ripple price is trading 1.15% higher on the day while volatility remains high. And then it talks about Tesla's being one of the best uh, performers. Um... Ripple net cross-border payments expand to the United Arab Emirates. Uh, the National Bank of Fujaira, Fu, Fu, I don't know how you say that, it will integrate Ripple's Ripple net platform to settle cross-border payments for its customers. So it looks like a new Ripple net customer. We didn't cover that. I'm not sure if it says here whether they'll be using uh, the, the XRP-based solution. And then it talks about the stable coins. We did talk about that uh, with David Schwartz saying that the XRP ledger could support asset-backed crypto tokens, which are normally stable coins. Uh, so you could have a, you know, a coin based on the price of oil or you know, silver or anything that's a, a an, considered an asset. Uh, so. I'm still looking for this 30 cent. That's why I'm kind of distracted because as I'm reading this stuff, I'm like, where did he get this 30 cent? Well, it doesn't matter. Uh, we we hope that XRP is is turning around. We'll, we'll watch it. It'll probably go from uh, red here to green over the next few hours, I'm hoping. Uh, it just it just depends on what happens with Bitcoin. Like I said, the dominance is still at 64%. So we're kind of uh, stuck with whatever happens to Bitcoin happens to XRP outside of uh, you know sometimes you'll see major news uh, strike XRP first once in a while we've seen it over the past couple of months you'll see the alts start to take off before Bitcoin actually which is kind of cool um, that's it for today there's my music I'm going to pop up some videos that you can uh, click on and the subscribe button. Remember, we'll give some money to the charity for you if you subscribe. Have a good weekend, folks.